What's up, Fizz Nation? Dan Shalom with you here breaking down what a win tomorrow could mean for Syracuse heading forward. Obviously, the game hasn't even started yet. No ball is in play, but you can't ignore the fact that Georgia Tech is ranked 23rd in the nation. It's the first time since 2015 that the Yellow Jackets have been ranked, and there's a couple of storylines that coincide with that ranking for Georgia Tech on Syracuse's side. For one, it'll be the earliest ranked opponent to visit the Dome since 2016. In that season, Syracuse also had a first-year head coach at the helm. At the time, that was Dino Babers. Now, Fran Brown presented with the same opportunity to get a big win in Week 2. So what do the Orange need to do to grab a victory tomorrow? Well, it's pretty simple. Stop the run. Georgia Tech has been so effective on the ground through two games so far. They've tallied up 415 yards on the ground, which is good for second best in all of college football. On top of that, they've added six touchdowns by way of the run game, and that's tied for third across the nation. And that's worrying for Syracuse. The run defense was probably the only blemish of that 38-22 win against Ohio in week one. Syracuse surrendered 255 yards, and 203 of those were to just one player. That was to running back Anthony Tyus III. It was the most rushing yards that Syracuse has given up in an opener since 2008 against Northwestern. That was a 30-10 to loss. So Syracuse really needs to narrow down. They also need to watch out for quarterback Haynes King. He's a dual threat guy, had 2,800 passing yards last season, along with 700 plus rushing yards. So this guy is going to terrorize the Syracuse defense. The only way for the Orange to keep things manageable is to make sure that defensive line is not letting Georgia Tech get anything. But it's going to be tough without Marlo Wax in the lineup.